What's going on everybody, JuicyTaz201 here bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. Today we are building the Central Park Tower, and it is also the Nordstrom Tower. It's the same skyscraper, uh, I think Nordstrom the company owns it, uh, for now, until they move out someday, who knows when. But today, we are creating the most realistic and the most alike in likeness of the real one in New York City near Central Park. It is the tallest roof height building so far in New York City, and it's not done yet. So everything you see here, I had to sift through thousands of pictures of this building. Sift, I had to sift through thousands of pictures. So the top of it is, I hope, I really do hope it's all correct. Um, there's one part of it I'm not really sure about, but if it's not correct, then it's actually no big deal. It's only a little detail issue then. But uh, the building is right here, what you see, what we're going to be building. And guys, I've spent so long making sure everything's correct. And I know everything's correct. I left one little thing out of the building that nobody really needs to know about um, because it is a very minor detail that does not affect the overall design at all. But the building is a gorgeous building. It is a really cool modern building. Um, it's not my favorite, but I do like how it looks on Minecraft. And it'll make any city look great. And I hope to see it on everybody's world. Now, before we continue, I want to let everybody know that it is 239 blocks tall on a classic flat world, so everybody should be able to build it if they're not that high off the bedrock. Uh, also, it is the most authentic Central Park Tower uh, building, and this is the best tutorial that you could probably use on the internet to build this. I also made the height of it the actual size scale height to the One World Trade Center. It is about half of the spire of the One World Trade Center in New York City. I've been getting countless questions when this will be released, and so many people asking me about it, and so I hope it becomes a very popular video on my channel. And be sure, before we continue, to like and subscribe so you're up to date whenever I make a video. And also, make sure your notifications are on. So before we officially start today, I want to thank everybody for the nice comments on all the other tutorials. I've been getting great feedback about the detail of the tutorials, and I try my best because my old ones were not great, and I just, you know, it was a learning lesson. So before we start uh, officially, as I said, uh, I want to just let you guys know that this is the back of the building, and the other side is the front because there's like garages in the back here and everything. It really confused me while I was designing this building. I wasn't sure what was the front and back either, or is the front and back, but this is the official front right here. This is the side that actually faces the park and it is like a full glass frontal and the back part is a glass and concrete frontal building part of it so just wanna let you guys all know that. This is also in my opinion the best view of the building It is just like amazing how it hovers over the rest of the structure and I still don't know how they did that in real life in New York City so my hat goes off to the engineers and architects who helped build this building and made it come to life. So I think we should get started now. Um, before we start I wanna let you all know that it is a 37 by 41 block base and we are going to transition into the build, and we are going to build exactly what we just saw right here in front of us. Okay, materials we're we'll needing today is potion of swiftness, move quick, a block of quartz, light gray concrete, cyan terracotta, white stained glass, light gray stained glass, white stained glass pane, light gray stained glass pane, and a quartz slab. Uh, we'll be using a few more materials later on, but we will use those, and uh, we'll get those when we need them. Uh, and also, sorry if you hear my remote, because uh, I have, a, you know, my mic right near my remote, so it might pick up the clicking sometimes, and you'll just have to bear, so sorry. So let's start right where we were just looking at in front of us. Get the block of cords at, put one in the ground right there, and we are going to count off by going 37 across. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. And I'm going to count that again to be sure that we are all good. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. We're all good. And now we're going to do the sides. Now the sides are just like straight as well. And that will be 41. So here we go. So you got the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. And we'll be checking that again on this side. 
So we are going to distinguish that this is the front. Let me get a sign out, makes it easy. And because I don't want to go any further and then forget what side we are working on. And let's put a simple sign like this front. This is important to do uh, because you do not want to make your building backwards if you intend to make it, uh, you know, a certain direction facing in your city. Okay, so I'm just going to litter this. Don't do this, but do, I just did. <laughs> uh, let me get that block of quartz out, the half slab, or, yeah, the slab. Okay, so we're going to continue with the 41. So you get the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and 41. Yes, it lines up. So this is not going to be the same. This is the back. It's going, going to be a little bit different. So what we're going to do is you're going to stick with that one right there, but you're going to go over six blocks in between. So you can do this. Instead of counting like across, you can do one, two, three, four, five, six. Plant one in the ground. Delete these. You don't need these anymore. Make sure that's six. See, we're all good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over four now. One, two, three, four. Put one in the ground. And then the rest of the way going over. Uh, let me just make sure we're all good. And we are. So now continue. And put one block right there as a marking. It makes it easier for later. And we're just going to connect to the sides. And instead of using the white quartz block, just put that right there for now. And this is going to be the back, and that will be the garage area right there. And we can make this easy. Get some cyan terracotta out and just mark it like that. Okay, so now we are going to work on the concrete sides, which will be using the light gray concrete. Okay, now we're going to start by doing the side parts. And so what we need is the light gray concrete, as I said. And what we are going to do is we are going to go up 22 blocks. So you got the one right there. You got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay. This never works for me for some reason. I don't know why. Minecraft just does, does, doesn't really like me. <laughs> So let's try that, uh, make sure it's all good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We're all good. We don't need that glass, so just counting. And let's give it that. So we're going to outline first. We're not going to go straight over and fill. We need to draw it out first in a way, I would say. So since we have this block right here, it's going to be over uh, 37. We're going to go over 37 blocks. So got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, uh, 36, 37. And we are going to continue actually down the ground level. And we actually, we have to go up 16 blocks from this right here. Okay? I have everything written down so I don't make a mistake. So if you hear me like looking off somewhere, or you hear my voice looking off or sounding weird because I'm looking at my numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, and so we have that so far. And while we're at it, go over four. So include that, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're looking good so far. Bring this top one right here of the 37, just bring it down. Connect it to there like that. And it should be a total of uh, 37. So the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good. And you have the four right here. Since we're at it, or up here, um, we are going to throw down that for a little bit for a quick second or two. Get the pillar quartz block out. You don't need this yet, but I'm just going to put this here because it makes it easier for us later. Okay, so we have that so far. 
all you have to do now is just fill that in. But before we do that, I'm going to trace the other side as well. And we're pretty much just setting it up. We're making it easy for ourselves for the base. Because the hardest part of this building is actually the base. It's not the top. The top is easy because you go straight up for the most part. Okay, so start in this corner. And we are going to go up 22 as just like the other side. And I don't even need to count since we already did in a way. I do usually advise though counting. And how I look at it is I don't even look at the map. I just like land on this and then I go straight over without changing like the level I'm on. This is like the slow, lazy way of doing it. And we're at 22. There we go. So go over 10 now. Okay. Just looking down. We're all good, as I can see. Now from right here, just go 10. One, well, you did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you get a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're all good. And we are going to go up 42, 42 total blocks. So you get this one right here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. All good. That's the highest point we'll go with the, the gray concrete for this part. And we are going to go over four. So include that one, two, three, four. Okay. And now we are going to go down uh, 21 blocks. So include this one again. So one, two, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21. So I haven't been checking these. I better check at least one of these, make sure it's right. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, uh, wait. I got to recount that because uh, for some reason it stopped in between there. You know, I'm going to do the best way for me. <laughs> 2, 3, 4. I got the 4. Yeah, I'll make sure I'm making no mistakes because if I make one mistake with this, the whole thing will be off. And you guys understand. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, we're all good. And just break that. Okay. Get your light gray concrete back out. And we are going to go over a very similar number of 21 blocks. So you got the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay. So now we're going to do is we'll end up connecting to that, but let's go down to the bottom area and match these up, these sides. Okay, let's break that. And I would normally count, but I believe this is 16 as the other side. Yes, it is 16. Let's go straight over. I probably have to break one block or something. Right there, break that. Break that. Not break it. Break it. <laughs> and we are going to go over like we did over there. And over here is four right here, and then it's five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And get your pillar back out. And just place it right there. And we are going to go up. The total thing would be seven. So you got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Making sure we're checking everything. And good thing I checked because that's wrong. And this should be actually the light grade concrete. Not a big mistake. Normally I would cut that from the video, but it's not that bad. And put the quartz pillar right there. So it should line up just like that. And these pillars actually connect. But don't do that yet. Okay. So now we have that done that part done, uh, we can continue on to uh, building it up. Okay, so what you're going to do is that block is going to connect down to here. So we're going to go up here and go over one. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Match those up. So it'd be three right here and then four. I'm hoping all of you, you know, caught what I just did there. Um, I'm not trying to be confusing. That's like the hardest part to get um, because it's weird when you're counting blocks because it depends how you're counting it. So um, let me go over that again. So this whole thing right here is 21 going down, this whole block. And then what I did is I connected this one onto there at the end. So you got one, two, three, four. Well, I'm count counting one from right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So twenty-one connected to that. That one connects like that. It goes straight down. And then let's recount that again. So one. So you got one, two. Let's just do it this way because it's way easier. And we're going to actually uh, use this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and that'd be twenty-two. You know what I mean? I'm really not trying to confuse you guys. I'm trying to clear it up. If any of you are confused by what I just did there. But uh, we'll, we'll make it easier here. We'll uh, start filling it in, and that should make it easier once we fill in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So you have 39 in between there at the bottom base area, and that sounds uh, accurate. And now from here, we're measuring, but you'll be filling in each section. So uh, since we already did that, I'm not counting that part. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34, 35. 35 from there. And now we're going to go from this line right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 in between there. Let's go up here. And from right over here, it is obviously just 2. Okay, now you can fill it in by section. And now you all know the distance. So I counted over the that one time, right there, there, and up there. I hope that was easy enough. I really do. <laughs> and you guys can fill that in. I'll do that off camera. And over here, let's, let's just count over as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And down here, literally just connect both sides. Not hard. Okay, we're all good. And I'm going to fill that in off camera. And we will be right back after I do that. Okay, everybody, we are back. And we did all the filling in, as you see. And now we got to do is we got to start doing the bottom section where it's uh, actually like the front where you enter. Uh, so get your light gray concrete out. And before we go actually any further, uh, you don't need the light gray stained glass. I was thinking about that and you don't need it. So just throw it off somewhere. Okay, now we're going to do get that light gray concrete as I set out. You're going to count 23 blocks over. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Place that right there. Now what you're going to do is you guys are all going to go over 3. And um, 3 will be for the uh, white stained glass. So just do this. Okay. So 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. Very simple. Those are for the doors. And you can go straight over from there and connect this side to the other. Okay, so that lays it out for the front part over here. Now what I want you guys to do is to get your light gray concrete back out. 
Now go up five from this one, so it'll be a total of six blocks. But we have this one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure it's all good. And okay, we're all good here. And actually match the glass up to that same height, so six blocks high. And you can go the same level as right right here for the opening doorway. Now I won't be putting the doors in for this video. You guys can choose what doors you put in. Or you can do with like if you have commands, you can do a automatic door. It's up to you guys. If it were my city, I'd do an automatic door. And so it's four so far. We need six high. And I could do this off camera, but there's not much to show. So. And also, if you're using like a shaders, uh, this would look so much better than the glass we're provided in default. Okay. So now I want you guys to do is I want you to get those white quartz slabs out. And you're going to just do this. Go in front of that block right here. And just bring it to the other side. And you're doing that twice, not just once. So it's going to come out like that. Okay, just like that. Now what I want you guys to do is I want you to get your white stained glass out and you're going to go in front of this right here, this block. And you're going to go up, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 blocks. Now get your white stained glass paint out and you are going to go on this side now, the same height up. And we are switching back and forth. It gives it the very wavy design. Now this, this, in my opinion, is the best way of doing it, to recreate the actual layout. And we don't need that light gray stained glass for right now. We don't need that. Later we will. So just remember that. And I'm just switching them out both. And we're going up and down. And that is not going to be fun doing this the whole way. <laughs> So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm just going to speed it up and what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, I'm just going to speed it up from this point right here so I can continue without taking forever. Okay, so we finished all the glass and now we are ready to move on to the top part of it and then we'll move on over there. So first of all, I want you guys to get your white concrete out, which I don't have out for some reason. There it is, white concrete, and go straight across up here in the top in the 16th block high. And just connect this right to the other side. And since we're up here, let's get the, um, let's throw the scion terracotta. We don't need that. We need the light gray stained glass pane. There we go. Okay, now it's useful. <laughs> Before when we threw it out, it wasn't. We didn't need it yet. Now we do. So uh, go one block away from here. And then just go above it like this, the whole entire perimeter of the top. And we are going to follow over here as well. And just connect until we get to the side. And then it'll continue because we need to do it over there as well. So um, save that, don't drop it yet. Okay, what we need to do now is go down here again, get your white concrete back out, and just lay it above this top portion right here. And we are going to do that twice. Just like this. And then we are going to get a quartz block out again, just lay it on top of this layer. This will be serving as the ceiling. There are many layers. I'm sorry if it confuses anybody. And we don't need the quartz slab right now anyways. Uh, where is the... There it is. So I usually use light gray carpet for uh, skyscrapers. It's like, it's like a really a generic kind of color I use. 
and uh, so we're going to use that for this right now. You can use whatever color. Uh, each floor is going to be about four blocks in height. So let's just do that right away across. And then it'll, it'll be following the same, like, you know, room size the whole entire way up from here. Okay, now we need to get our, our uh, quartz set again. I'm thinking as I'm doing this. I'm sorry. Okay, go straight across. You're going to count four above that gray and go straight, straight across. And, okay, now get your light gray wool out again. And it's also very possible if you do the interior that you're going to have white concrete. Like if it's like, well, it is the main block I use for the interiors of uh, modern buildings as well, the white concrete. You're probably going to put it like against this wall right here and go, you know, you're going to cover this whole wall. So that's all right. It doesn't mess up anything. Go right ahead and do that if you want. Okay, uh, and we are up here. Now get your white quartz back out. And you're going to count four blocks in between here, and then you're going to place it right here. And if everything's correct, it should meet this white concrete up here perfectly well. You know, it should be connected just like that. And you're just connecting it to the other side. Okay, so that whole front portion is done now. And we don't have to worry about this for right now. Now, if you're going to be doing the letters, because um, I have the Nordstrom Tower lettering, and I'll give one of my hints away, uh, the, the original building's over here. So let me just fly over here to show you guys the lettering. I won't do any unnecessary editing. <laughs> so here's Nordstrom. You just put Nordstrom. It's, uh, let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks over. So you get the eight blocks right there. If I counted, yeah, right. Okay, eight. And then it's Nordstrom is N O R O. I mean, no, 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 don't listen to me. N O R D S T R O M. Sorry. And then that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, nine letters. So hopefully I cleared that up for all of you. And also you can put Nordstrom on the other side if you would like. Okay, so let's move on over here. Get your white uh, quartz pillar block out. And to make this easy, why don't we just make it easy on ourselves? Uh, get the, the quartz block back out. The regular, not the pillar. And just go straight across like this. And you're going to connect like below there. Okay? Now we get the pillar out. And let's get some potion in us. I don't want to go too slow. And we'll be actually getting to the part real soon where we build the skyscraper itself. And that will be a breeze. Really, it's a breeze. It's pretty quick to do. A lot of people think that the Central Park Tower is like a straight block up in the sky, but no, there's actually little cutouts in it, you know? And if you want to make the antenna, I left enough room, but they cut out the antenna in the design to uh, make more floors. It's all about money, you know? If they can get more people in the building, it's, it's much better than having an antenna that looks really good, so that's the whole theory, I believe. And we're getting to the end with this. Okay, get the light gray stained glass pane back out. And you're just going to run across the top like this. Okay, we're all good. Now you don't need that, I don't think, for a little bit. You don't need that for a while. Uh, now get the polished andesite, andesite, or however you want to say it. Or you can use whatever material you think looks nice as a walking area. Uh, this is a common one that I use. I just like how it looks. It looks very clean. And you're just doing what I'm doing right here. Okay. And now we are going to move on to the part down here. And uh, here we go. Okay, so the front part is almost the same as the back. It's just a little bit size difference wise. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our white stained glass out and just copy that over there to over here if you know what I mean from over there to over here so get white white glass out three one then three just like that so you get the three two one two three <laughs> that's a hard thing to say but uh yeah you got that and get your light gray concrete out and go six up so you got one two three four five six just like that okay now get that white stained glass out 
the block again. And you're connecting to this one from before. I don't remember placing that, but I guess I did. Or no, no, no. Yeah. Okay, so we have that glass in there. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this block right here that we just, you know, was glass, but we replaced it with the light gray concrete. We're going to go up six. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. And these are the uh, garage, you know, spaces or the, the doors, I mean. And we are going to bring that middle one up as well to the same height. Okay, so you're going to connect these two right here. And uh, I won't, re you know, say the sizes or anything because we already talked about the size of the garage doors. And you're just going to be doubling up like this. Okay, so that's what everything should look like so far. Make sure everything's all correct. Glass is all good. Everything lines up. And we are good so far. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the light gray wool. Uh, we'll be needing that later. So hopefully it doesn't disappear, but if it does, then it doesn't matter. Um, but before we use the white quartz, get the white glass back out, and we are going to go up the full six blocks. And we're just going to continue that over here, and leave the two open spots there for the doors. And just connect until we reach the top six. We are so close to being there. And one more row. And there we go. Okay. So that's good. And now what we have to do is get the Scion Terracotta. I'm really not sure if I'm saying that right or if I've ever said that right. But I think it's a Scion if I can find it. I can never find anything. I've said this in many videos, like, you know, I can never find what I need, and I've been on here for, you know, years. Oh, there it is. I don't really take the time to learn the categories of stuff. I hope I did not have that in my inventory the whole time. I probably did, knowing me. So just fill in the garage doors like this with this material. And we're almost done. There we go. Okay, that's all finished. Now what you need to do now is get your, your white quartz block out, the half slab or the slab, what I was saying is before. Uh, we need to do what we did exactly over there and just, you know, run it across here like this. And this serves as the overhang. And I won't count it, but uh, as we said before, this is the the 37 by the 41, I believe. I'm not really looking at my notes, but uh, it's the footprint size, you know, long distance. That doesn't matter, though. Um, okay, so now get your white glass back out, what I'm holding right here, of course, and go up 10 blocks. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, just like that. And we are going to continue the design that we did over there that I cut out of the video to save some time. Because my tutorials are very long, as you all know. <laughs> this one will probably not be any better, but I get all the detail in there, and it looks good when it's done. And you can impress your friends by what you built. And, oops. My remote controller is breaking, so i got to get a new one soon. Sometimes the key gets stuck, the joystick gets stuck in the wrong spot, and it doesn't help me. So that will explain any weird movements I make. And you just continue this to the other side. How much farther we got to go? You know, I'm just going to leave it like that for now, and then I'll continue it over off camera. Uh, I want to save time. I don't want to take forever. So get the white concrete back out and just connect it to this side. Pretend the glass is down below us right now. Okay. Now get rid of the a white stained glass pane. You don't need that right now. Light gray stain you need. And we're just connecting both sides like this. To this side right here. Okay. 
I, I litter everything. I'm so sorry if it's very unorganized. I'm just a very unor unorganized person. But I do bring results, so that's the most important part. Okay, so now get the white concrete back out. And you're going to do what we did on the other side. Go too high with the uh, white concrete. You know, go up two. Just like so. And now we are going to get the white quartz back out. And just go straight across like this. Get your carpet back out. And go straight across on top of that. Lots of layers. It's like a cake. You know, I can really eat some cake right now, too. I shouldn't get myself hungry. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, next is the four up. So we need the white quartz block. So go up four, one, two, three, four. And it should be all even. We're making sure everything's good. Yep, it is. So just go straight across with this. And don't forget the white uh, concrete's right above up there. So we're all good. Are we good? I'm making sure. Yep, we're good. Okay, so what you would do now is you would just copy the white quartz, the ceiling, over to that side if you're doing the floors. And same for the light gray wool. Copy that over there, you know, bring it all across there. And then we'll be talking, you know, then we're getting close to doing the actual skyscraper part. I'm going to fill in this glass real quick, and then we are ready to start working on the top sitting area up here. And then we're going to build the skyscraper part, the big tall section of it. And then we'll be really kicking it off, and we'll be building this thing. Okay, guys, uh, now we need to do this part up here. Get your antisite out, or whatever you like to use for a concrete or uh, patio material, I mean. Uh, I use this uh, polished antisite, though, because it looks the best. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over two like this, okay? And now what you're going to do um, is, actually, I had a, a glass pane right here, the gray one. Be, be sure to break that, uh, because that's where the window's going to go. It's just my little mistake, so just break it if it's still there. Now you're going to go over 17 blocks, but you're going to include this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm going to re recount that because I'm not sure if I got that right or not. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We're all good. Now go over one block like this. Uh, we're going to be counting different now for this part. We're going to be counting one. This will be number one, okay? So number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we got fourteen there. Um, I'm, always, I'm just gonna recount it like usual to make sure everything's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Good. So what we're doing pretty much with this is we are making the uh, outdoor area, and this is going going to be the footprint of the building, so we can go, you know, start going upward. Okay. Also, now, we're going to do 14 again, but we're not going to include this block. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Recount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then, then this will be 15 because it connects to that corner block. Okay? Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go over 13 this time. So this is not going to be included. So 1. This is 1. And that's, that's, well, that'll be the total number right there, the first one of the total. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And it should be 14 from the outside if you, can, if you uh, have that one block there. So 14, but we just did 13 over. Make sure that's all good. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over 13 again. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're all good. Okie dokie. Let's just recount that and make sure that's all good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over 16. So it's gonna be, this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Right there. And the total from the outside should be 17. And if, if this is, you know, right here, 
this should be correct. It should line up with that last fence we, we laid there. Uh, but the total in between here will be seven blocks. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's, that's all good, that means. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video real quick. We're going to fill in off, off camera. I'm going to fill in this area and uh, lay in the, the outdoor area. And then we'll start building upward. Okay, so now that that's all filled in, now get your block of quartz out. And we are actually just going to go inside the portion of the open area that we just uh, made. And you're just going to line it around just like cake icing. And you'll do this around the whole entire thing in here. This is where the windows will rest on top of. And I will be using ice uh, for the windows in the whole building. It's up to you guys what you use. I use ice because it has no lines on it on the default version. And it is a very nice blue. So let's get the ice out. We're going to start building this thing. Okay, now this is going to be different going up. This is not going to be like the same kind of design or the same uh, count. So just be sure you're watching what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. So um, you're going to need the ice. Uh, you don't need the white stained glass, I don't think, for a while or at all uh, from here on. But uh, we need to get the clay. And it's this one, the traditional clay. You're going to go up four. You're going to go one, two, three, four. And then you're going to get this clay out right here. Uh, because each floor is going to be four blocks, like, you know, in room area. Because you, this is the floor right here. It's like, you know, you walk inside. This would be the floor, and you have the window and the ceiling. And I'll explain it all so you guys understand how to do this. So you got four blocks right here. And we are going to go up five uh, blocks. One, two, uh, five times. And you'll see what I mean. So you got one, two, three, four, five. That's the first time we did that. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to make sense here. One, two three, four, five. That's the second time. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. That's the third time. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know why I keep doing that, but you know, Minecraft just hates me. <laughs> um, now, one, two, three, four, five. And that is the fifth time we did that. So uh, just to make sense, what I just did is I did one, two, three, four, five. So we have five layers of five. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> it's hard when you're trying to explain how to build something this big. It's like the largest building I've ever done in a tutorial. Okay. Uh, now we're going to do is we're going to be going up six. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. Okay. And now what you're going to do is get the clay out. Like this. And that will just rest on top of that block like that. Okay, now we're going to do is we're just going to bring it over. Uh, this doesn't really require any counting. It's 17 blocks long. So uh, this whole line that we're doing is 17 blocks long. And so since we're going really slow, let me get the potion out because this is one of those times that I really do need it. Uh, potion of Swiftness, where are you? That's the, not the one that I want. I haven't been, haven't been playing on this version much lately, so I just lose track of where everything is at. There we go. Okay. Now, lay the ice again. And just do what I'm doing. And honestly, you're just going to be following the mount that you did going up the building, that I did. But if you're building along, then just you're just bringing this over, making a nice flat plane of a wall. Get this clay out. Get your ice back out. Now, anybody who's seen this building in real life, it's a really blue building. It's not like your average glass facade. It is a, a really bright blue building. It stands out from the other ones. Uh, I'm not sure if it's in a good way it stands out or a bad way. It's up to you guys. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me to build this, so it's a very popular building. Probably because of its height. Very tall. And I think we're probably midway, I would say. Oops. Or actually, we're further than that. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're a little bit more than midway. Not much. Not much further. 
and get the clay back out and then just rest it like that I'm trying to use some filler words right now if you guys see because this is a very boring process once we get this building built it is a you just it's a marvel it's very tall so if you're building this in your city just to let you know it's gonna be very tall not like it doesn't go all the way to the height limit but it's a very tall building now the only reason why I'm showing you guys me laying this because as I want to explain how the floor system works how I decided it would work out because uh, I like doing interior and even if you don't do interior at least put the ceilings in the building not the floors if you don't like doing interior it makes the building look like there's like levels and floors in it and it just uh, gives it more of a real look and all the details are very important so don't just like you know shrug it off and say oh I can't do that because everything comes together and it makes it look like a really nice building. I think the company Extel made it, if anybody knows the architect company in New York City, Extel. They also made 430, well, no, maybe, maybe they didn't. They made, uh, oh yeah, they made like 157 or something like that. It is like right nearby this building. Oops. And gonna lay this on top of this right here this level and also you're gonna do this just like that this block I'm not sure if it remains yet or I forget how that goes but it doesn't matter just put that there for now okay so this is how it should look right now and we are going to make it uh, more complete on this side now get your ice back out you're gonna go over uh, one two three four You're actually going to go all the way over, but I'm doing this for design purposes for right now to make it easy. Don't make that block. And you're just doing the same thing up the building, the pattern. And this shouldn't take as long as the other side. Keep going up the building. And we're almost already there. Oops, don't put that there. You get like in a groove and then you like lose track of what you're doing sometimes. And we're almost up here, I believe. This is the sixth, yeah, I think this is yep. Okay, so that's all done. And you can fill this in with the andesite in this area if you want right now or later. It doesn't really matter. Uh, now get the ice back out. And just do this. Now I'm not counting because you really don't need to count. But I will count for you guys so you know what the height is just for uh, just to make sure so it's all correct. So you got one, two, three, four, five. Is that five that I leave five? Yeah, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, where are we at? 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, yep, it's 42 high, okay. And that sounds correct, because it should be an even number. And we're just filling this area in. And break that. And we're just filling in. Having a blast, right? <laughs> I can see this video being still a long video too. Um, I don't know yet because I'm recording live. So, so uh, however long it turns out, I'm sorry, but uh, we're getting a lot of detail in here, and it's going to be one of the best, I swear, in your world. People will be going to it all the time, asking, you know, how'd you build that? Where did you get it? Be sure to credit me, by the way. <laughs> okay, so we're going to continue this, and let me just—we're going to be doing this side. So I'm going to pause right here. Okay, so let's uh, move on to the next part. And we're going to mimic what we did over there to over here now, uh, in a way. We're going to go up four, one, two, three, four. And then you can get that clay back out, and you're going to place it right there. 
And now you can go up the five. One, two, three, four, five. Place clay. One, two, three, four, five. Press clay. And we're going to do uh, the five windows eight times. And I'll show you. I'll do a count of how high it is and everything. So you got one, two, three, four, oops, five, clay. One, two, three, four, five, clay. One, two, three, four, five, clay. One, two, three, four, five, more clay. One, two, three, four, four, five, if I can get it. <laughs> uh, let's see if we have eight now. So we have uh, one, five there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we need one more. So you got one, two, three, four, five. Clay. Okay, and we'll count how high that is now. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. I hope I counted that right because it was kind of hard doing that. And uh, we're going to do that uh, across here. And I'll probably check that number again just to make sure. And you're just doing this around the whole base. Let's drink some potion real quick. Okay, now get the ice back out. Just going around the perimeter. And then I gotta mention something before we continue. And I'll probably do most of this off camera because it's much easier and quicker for you guys. Well, and me. Okay, so uh, before we were working on this side, and I said just place the uh, clay for now, and I was wrong, so uh, break that, and put the light gray concrete right there, and this will be 42 blocks from, let me show you, from here to, if you count this all the way up 42, to there, that's your 42nd block, so make sure you have that right, and you should be good for that part. Now let's count this, make sure we're all good. Got to make sure you have the right numbers here. Um, and I'm just going to put a few blocks that uh, we're going to break anyway. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, let me go over this. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Okay, so I was right before 53. Just got to make sure. I don't want to tell you guys the wrong number, and then you all build it, and then there's a mistake. I guess you can all understand. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to keep doing this all the way around. Just like this. And what you can also do is get the ice back out. And you can start on this side too. This is going to be just straight ice going up the building. And you can match the height of this right up here. So let's just go right to here. For right now. It's going to go much higher in the building. But I'm just going to do it right there for right now. And this will just be a... just constantly ice going up and down like this and then this, this is the side where we have the window frames and everything or the the pane the glass I mean which are a pain to lay if you guys would see what I just did there <laughs> and just going up and down like this much easier than doing the frames that we had to do with the clay whoops don't place that
and this side little side is almost done. But this continues up almost the whole entire building, or I think the whole building, I forget. We'll see as we go along. Okay, so we have that so far. And uh, we're just going to continue going around up here. Just go back and forth like this, ever so gracefully. <laughs> I sound like Bob Ross. Okay, um, so what you're going to do is you're going to just go around with this, keep going up, and uh, let me just show you what I'm doing. Two, three, four, five. And you don't need to do this inner one, but you can leave that white quartz block there for right now. And so all you gotta do is just keep going up. Two. And we're having so much fun. And we're building. And we're building. <laughs> get the clay back out. Lay it on here. And I think you guys get the gist of what I'm doing right here. You're pretty much taking that design. You're bringing it up. Except this is five. Down here this is four blocks high. This one's five, and you bring that up until uh, it goes fully around up here. Just like, you know, keep bringing it up, okay? So uh, I'll meet, let me just pause it right there, and we'll continue. I'll do it right here so it's easy to understand where we pick up. Okay, so that's all done. We filled that all in, all the clay and the ice and everything. And now we're going to bring everything up to the same level as well. Um, so we're going to start over here. And this will be random, just the, the height of the other level right now. We're going to have it go to there for right now. Okay. So I'm going to bring this over. And we're just going to match it with the height down here below. Or with the, the length of the, the windows. Okay, and then just match it like this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just fill this in. And I'm going to be using the potion for this because I want to do this quick. And just go up and down like this. And if you're on the newer Minecraft version, the Bedrock or whatever, the computer PC one, Java, all you gotta do is just really, I guess, do a command or whatever. Which is nice and easy. <laughs> But on this version, we're just going to do it by hand, and it's easier for everybody watching to understand what I'm doing, and when I'm placing and where I'm placing objects. And I believe we're almost done with this side of the wall. And this part of the building it goes up for a pretty high distance. I think it goes all the way to the top, but not this single plane does, but we'll get to that. We're probably going to do the glass panes at the end of the video too, uh, because that's like a detail that we don't need to do yet, and that's to, that takes like forever. And just fill in this last one right here. Oops. Okay. So we have that so far, and now we're starting to get pretty high up here, starting to make some way. And now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make the top of this portion right here, because we're topping out this side of it, the building. Uh, and I think we can start with, let's get our materials out. Um, give me one second. Okay. We don't need the scion terracotta. We're going to be using the dark gray concrete. Or just gray concrete, I guess they call it. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay a layer of this on top of the clay. Just like as I'm doing right here. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to get the pillars out, and I think I threw it out before, so we got to get those pillars back. And you're going to go up three with the pillar, so one, two, three, and you're just going to do that around here. Now, I don't know why they did this for the design of the building. I think it's some sort of like hidden uh, strength part of the building that holds the other side of the building up, but I don't know for sure. I could be wrong. 
since the building kind of hangs over the other side, I think this is like an extra strength so the building doesn't fall down, which we don't want. <laughs> we don't want the building falling down at all. That wouldn't be good in real life. Okay, now get the gray concrete back out. And you're just going to lay it on top of here again. And some form of this design will be carried around the whole building. Okay, now get your clay back out. And you're just going to do what I'm doing right here. Okay, so a block we haven't used in a while in this tutorial is the slab, the white quartz slab. So get that back out. Just go around the perimeter like this. And then what I did is I got the regular slab out, which is the stone slab. I just did the inside of this right here like this. And you spring this over right to the other side. Just like this, just like this. And I think we're over there so far. We're close anyways. Yeah. Okay, good. We're doing good. And we are done with that part. Okay, so you have that so far. You can start to see the building taking shape now. What we're going to do is we're going to do this side now. And you know, honestly, you really don't need this corner block right here. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it there for right now. And you're going to bring this over. So let me count for you guys so you know exactly. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the 10th one goes over that clay right there. And you just bring this over like this. Just like that. And you don't even need to count this, but I, uh, I will from here. So this is the 1... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And you can just honestly bring this right over like this. And connect this one right here with that, like that. And this as well can come straight up. And this right here can connect to this side right here. You know, all you gotta do is fill this block in and one more right here. Got one right here already done, so do two. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is from right here, I'm just gonna go down. And we're doing it straight across right here from this clay block. We're doing it right here. I'll zoom out so you guys can see what I'm doing. From right here, you just bring it straight down. Because we're gonna do a design in those blocks. Okay, so we have that so far, and now what we are going to do is we're going to get another ice right here, line it up with the clay. Just making sure you guys see what I'm doing. Now what we're going to do is you're just going to put those two blocks right there. You can go every other. So you got two, blank, one, 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 two. Okay, so you're going to go straight up with this like that. And uh, break that block right now and bring this up like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get the dark concrete back out. And you're going to put it on the bottom parts like that and the top parts. Now get the quartz block out and just do this. This makes for the design of the building and it gives it kind of a uh, unique design going up. So it's not like a big, you know, glass box just going all the way up. And so we have that so far. Now what everybody can do is take this this block right here, go up until we meet the this side right here, and we're just going to connect it right here, and all you got to do is fill in this area, just like this. And we'll be getting to the overhang real soon, the empty part of the building that we didn't get to yet, which is the cool part of the building, how it hangs. And it's going to fill in this area. And I believe
basically we're halfway there probably, right? Yep, we're almost there. I was wishful thinking, and I was like, let's hope. <laughs> okay, so we're at this level. We're going to do design. Uh, now, at this top of this one right here, just bring this over. Okay, and we should have this so far. And while we're looking at this right here, uh, get rid of that slab and get the andesite back out, polish andesite. Just lay this, lay this nice little slab there, yeah. Or this outdoor patio, whatever you want to call it. I'll just call it the scary patio, because, you know, <laughs> when you're in a city looking over like that, that's kind of scary. Get the light gray stained glass back out. And don't put it right there, put it right here. It's kind of hard to see it, I can tell. That it would be hard for people, people to see what I'm doing right there. Okay, now get your white stained glass pane and connect it right there, because that will be one of the lines of the building. And that goes up the building like that. And to make it easier for everybody, since we have this out, I want to show how this lines up. This white stained glass pane it's going to go in between these markers right there. And it's going to go right straight down to the bottom here. But you don't do that around the whole building. Like, to the part of the left of us right now, uh, that area does not get done with those. But uh, I, I don't recommend doing this until uh, it's the end. You can do it throughout the, the building process, but I'm going to do it at the end of the video. And if you did it right, this will line up like this perfectly where the clay stops right there. Okay? And that's what gives it that really cool, unique design that everybody likes. And since we have this one right here, we can automatically do it on this side. We can break that one right there. But, as I said, we're not going to do that yet because it kind of gets confusing. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to get that, that gray concrete back out and you're going to do every other one. Perfect. Get those pillars back out. Go three up. Three up. Three up. Three up. And you're going to get that dark concrete back out. Dark gray concrete. Lay one block on all those. Lay the ice back down. We're cooking so far. <laughs> okay. Making some good progress here. Okay, and as I said, the ice would go up. Well, not the ice, the white glass panes go, they go up the building in between each marker. And, you know, I guess, why not start them? Uh, I was going to do it to, towards the end of the video, but we'll do a little bit right now. It probably just makes it easier seeing it. So I'm going to do some quick counting for all, for everybody to see here. So right here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it's 18 blocks high from that area to there. And that, that helps, I hope, clear it up if you're kind of lost. Go back and watch me build too. Some people just mute my audio and they watch me build it and they follow along that way. However helps. You can also pause the video, as I said. Okay, so we're making some really good progress here. Now we gotta do is we're gonna get to this side. And what you're going to do is you're going to get your clay out. And I'm actually gonna go over to this over here, the model, the actual one that I built before. And we are going to, well, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. Makes it easy. See, we're gonna do this, it's gonna be four over. Then it's going to connect to that quartz block. But you guys don't have that in the version I'm doing because um, I didn't do ceilings yet. Um, so I'm just going to show you how high it goes. And it connects right to there. This is a solid part of the building right there. Okay. That should line up with that. Okay. So let's fly over there right now. And you see, it looks pretty tall from here so far. It's going to get a lot taller, though. Okay. 
Now, I notice that this doesn't line up. These two don't line up. So this level right here, we're going to add another block. In the beginning, I probably wasn't, I didn't count it right, but it doesn't matter because it's not like a big deal. All I got to do is put another block right here and just do this like that. We have four in between here. And over here at the building we were just at, the actual model that I made, the first model, it demonstrates the same what we are doing over yonder. So that's four in between. If you guys think I'm doing this to demonstrate to you guys, I'm actually doing it to demonstrate to myself. Just to make sure everything's all correct. <laughs> I, I don't want to make any mistakes. Okay, so go over. And you're going to stick out of the building like this. And it's just resting on top there. And since you can't see this part of the building from the inside, you could put the, the clay. For me, though, I wouldn't do that. I put the quartz block. And it juts out of the building like that. And it doesn't go out a random number. I didn't choose a random number. So let's go over back over here. See, this comes out five blocks. And we're flying back over. Oh, I wasn't even moving. I was like, why am I not moving? <laughs> I can't see anything. And we're just going to go around this other side and do it real quick. Okay, so it comes out four right now, and then we're going to do one more for five. And just do this. Okay, what we're going to do now is you're going to get the, the uh, clay and just go underneath the belly of this part of the building and just bring it over. And we have one more row after this then. And what I would do actually, uh, I would put quartz there. Fill that in with quartz, but I'm not going to do it. Let me have some of the potion. Okay, we're going to do now is a very important part. You can go up one, two, three, four, five. Clay. One, two, three, four, five. Clay. Uh, where's that? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, clay. One, two, three, four, five, clay. One, two, three, four, five, clay. And stop at that for now, that height right there. And so you have one, two, you got one, two, three, four, five levels right there of the building. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this side right here. And you bring around this around the building. This is a really cool part of the building. And I would say this building actually like provides a lot of space if you want to do interior. I didn't expect there to be a lot of room inside of it, but when I saw the finished result, there was quite a lot of room. And you can even put like a staircase and ladder inside. You'd still have enough room. With the really tall buildings, I really only suggest doing the ladders because uh, when you get high up, you have less and less room, so uh, it becomes a commodity. And just bring this around as well. And I'm going to speed up the process by just going right to the top. Uh, I'll do this one last level right here with you guys so you understand what I'm doing. And even the speed potion doesn't help for some reason. Unless I need to advance it, make it better. There's a way of doing that. <laughs> and just connect this right here. Get your clay back out. And just like that. Okay. Uh, we're going to do, I'm going to do those ones off camera, but right away I'm going to bring this frame around so you got two, three, four, five 
should be matching like below. Pretend we did all that below us and we're at this level right now. And all you gotta do is line it up with this ice right here. Like that. And what we are going to do is we're going to do something different that uh, from that right there, we're actually going to uh, do the same thing that we did right up here. Okay? So that makes it easy. The same design, same exact design. And just get that, you know, the dark gray out. Let's go around this part right here. Get the pillar back out. Once we get this part of this building done, uh, it's going to be smooth sailing for the top part. And that should be three high. Okay, so we're all good. Three. Uh, get the dark gray concrete back out. Go around the perimeter. We have that so far. And you would think this stops right here, but no, it continues up the building. So let's put the ice, settle it on here. And before we do that, you don't want to do it just with the ice right there. Uh, you got to get that clay back out. Sorry about that. You need to bring it around now. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting very excited to get to the top. Even though we still have a distance, we're still getting there. <laughs> We're not going the other way right now. Okay, so you have that so far, and just picture this is already done down here below. And this goes around, you know, pretend this is all done. I'll do that off camera, to help speed up the, the process. Uh, but over here, we are going to continue that design over, over to here. So you're gonna get the gray, uh, concrete out and just do every other one pillar three of them up and we're getting there making progress okay get a dark gray back out and oops I almost forgot to do the other ones <laughs> okay now get the ice back out and match it to that height for right now doesn't really matter if you do a random height. Hopefully everybody's keeping up with me. This building doesn't really require a lot of counting. It's the bottom part that required counting. I kind of count in the way with the windows. That's why I give a updated block count of height of certain things. It doesn't really require much counting. Okay, so we, we have that so far and just like the other side, the, the glass would go up, the glass panes would go up this building, this side of the building as well. And this is the back side of the building, so you just do every other one. And you just continue the, the other, every other, you know, placement of it. And I won't do the whole thing right now, I'll do it off camera, because uh, this will just take up too much time. Okay, so just continue that across there, and I'm going to fill in this off camera, and when we get back, that will be all done. Okay, everybody, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get our ice back out, and we are going to move on to this side. Um, now, both sides, this side and the other side, is going to be the same, uh, so it depends if I'll do both on camera, we'll see. Uh, so starting off at this block right here. Uh, we're going to count this. We're going to go up 43 from this top, but we're going to count this as 1. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 44 blocks high. And that should be all correct. We can check it, of course. Um, but before we do that, let's go over two with this. So you got one, one two. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up 109 blocks. So you're going to go two over, and then on this one, you're going to go up 109. 
Uh, we're not including this as the 109th, so 100, uh, so this is going to be 1 right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. 3, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, who I need a drink of water, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, uh, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109. Whew. I hope that's correct. We're going to check it, though. Um, in an even more exhausting way, we're going to check it. That's for sure. Uh, so that's going to be the top of the building. Uh, let's go back down here. Now this time I got to count 153 to check that. And what you can do to check that is you can go from right here. Uh, except for this part right here. All you got to do is go straight up. Uh, straight up 153. 100, yeah, 153. So you got 1, 2. Oh, actually, we're going to include also. It's going to include this block, this top one. So that's going to be the first. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oops. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, oops, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109. Please be correct. Oh, yes, 109 and then 150. Okay. Uh, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114. I'm going to do this. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 153. Okay, so one of them are off. Which one is it? I don't know. Uh, so we're going down here in uh, check again. Uh, this is the most exhausting part of the counting process for the whole thing. Everything else is much better. So uh, sorry if this is very um, annoying. <laughs> So you got one, two, uh, we're going to count with, uh, how would we do this? A, a more productive way of doing it would actually be filling in a block. So go on this side right here, actually. Fill in one, uh, the, the one layer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109. So this side's right. That side's wrong. So I must have messed up along the process with that, or um, I just didn't count from the bottom right. 
So we're just going to connect those, which makes it nice and easy. We just connected those, and that solves a big part of the whole entire uh, structure in all. Uh, so let's go back down here, and what we are going to do is we are going to go down three blocks. You got this one right there, two, three, and we are going to do that design that goes straight over. Okay, so uh, what's, what we're going to do is we're going to get the, the dark gray concrete, get the pillar, three of them, going down, and we have that first one right there. So let's go straight across with the ice below it, I mean. And right here, if you're wondering where I'm working on it now, I'm working on the, the first 44 that we worked on. So not that top section right now. Um, right here where we started at counting on 109. So this was all 44. We went over, and then right here, 109 going up. And then where we went down from here, we went 3. So you got the 3 right here, and we're doing this portion now. And get the other ice, go right above this line. It makes it easier for lining it up and counting. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put the every other, you know, ice barrier there. Uh, we'll just do that right away. It makes it easier for the whole other side of the part of the building. And once you got one side down, the rest of the building is all lined up. and You don't have to count anymore, which is the best part. Because when you're working on something this tall, counting is not the fun part. Get your pillars back up. Go with three. Get your dark gray uh, concrete back out. And then we have our design right there. Okay, so uh, what you guys can do is, I'm not doing this part on camera because it's going to take too much time up. Uh, you could start by putting this ice in right here, or whatever color material or glass you're using, whatever you want to use. Um, you can just fill this in on your own. I'm not going to do this on camera. It just takes too long, too much time, but I'll do a little bit while, I, while I'm here. Let's just do a few more so I can demonstrate one more thing with this. Okay, so get the white glass panes back out and this this you know these ones are going to continue the whole way up the building they'll all be the same exact ones so don't worry uh, they don't change at all they they should line up perfectly with these and let's bring that ice straight up forward over here okay and then just keep doing the the glass up the side like this and this gives it that really cool modern you know window look Okay, so fill that in on your own. Um, let's continue up the building. We are going to uh, do the same sort of design coming up the building. Uh, before we continue, get your... We'll get rid of the white concrete. I don't think you need that for a while. Get the andesite back out. Um, right here, uh, there's a kind of like a ledge. And I use the ice as like a fence kind of way, or like a glass kind of barrier. Just do it like that for three right now. And I could show you what part we're working on. I don't normally relate back to the actual building in videos, but I feel like this might make it easy just to clear up what I'm talking about. So right now we're working on this right here, over here, this side, this little area. So it's two, not three. And I did that too for myself too. I'm looking at this to help me along the way. Because I can't remember everything along the way of the video. That's impossible. But you see the building, how tall it's getting now. We're starting to make the big portion of it. So just break this right here and bring that ice around. It was four blocks. And you just bring it around this little ledge area and then you are starting to set up this part right here. Okay? So this doesn't need to be counted. This is, these are just random right now. But this will be four. And then you count this right here. That's two. So you got three and two. But you got three and then you can say four on the inside if that makes sense. So take a good look at it. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do now is these blocks right here, they're going to go straight all the way to the top. They're going to match that same height. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this up with it. And we should be almost there. Now, no windows go in the inner part of the sides. No window, uh, you know, the panes. They don't go in here, this area. They only go on the outside flat parts. Except for one side, but we will talk more about that when we work more on that in this video. Let me 
Yes. We're almost there with this side almost done. Oops, don't want that one yet. <laughs> I like to have some sort of order organization. Organization, I mean, when I'm building. Okay, oops, I didn't mean to break that. And just bring this one up as well. It's a lot of blocks. I'm happy we don't have to count this anymore. That was exhausting. Okay. So we have that in there. So as I said, no windows go in there. No window panes, nothing go in there. Just remember that. And we're all good. Okay, uh, next part we're going to move on to. We're going to do more of these designs right here. We're going to have to go up uh, um, the... So let's go straight across from here. Let's cover this in more. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up three from here. So you get the one, two, three. And this level we're going to count as number one. So uh, we're going to go up 34 blocks. You got one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-four. 32, 33, 34. 34. Uh, let's count on the other side as well. Uh, just to play it safe than sorry. Um, let's go right here. One, two, three, four, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And if they line up, we're all good. Yeah, we're all good there. So just put a lo straight line across, connecting both of them. And what you guys can do right away is you can fill in this area below it. You can fill in the area below. Uh, I'll do a few lines here to to uh, demonstrate something else of them. Let's connect both sides. Let's do one more row. Okay. Uh, now what you guys can do is you can go every other one with the ice. But before we do that, let's get the dark gray concrete. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get the pillars. Two, three. Get the gray concrete back out. Okay. Go every other one with the ice now, you know, like this. And get the gray concrete out. Okay, and what you guys can do now is just do this. Match the same height up. Get your pillars back out. Go up three. Get the gray concrete back out okay we have that um, cool design that I've been doing up the whole building uh, get the glass pane out I'm gonna show you guys what to do with this this is gonna go directly all the way to the top of the building and the rest of the side of the building is gonna go all the way to the top but we still have to build the top so don't do that yet okay so that's the top uh, we're gonna go down Okay, and you can do one layer of ice above here. Like that. Oops, missed that one right there. Uh, and now we are going to go up again. We're going to go up 43 blocks. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. 43 goes straight over like this. And then we can check on this side. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to count this one again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, which is that one. Awesome.
it lines up. Everything is all good. Those can all be filled in. All those empty sections can be filled in. And here we go on to the next part. Okay, this is going to be a little bit different. Now get your dark concrete out, your gray concrete, and you're going to go up 25 uh, blocks, and that's the total total thing. So um, without that, it's 23 without the dark gray. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And that's all good. Everything's all. I'm just checking down there too. Okay, now go back up here. And get your gray concrete. And then there should be two ice, not two of these up here. That means if you got to this point and there's two ice on the top here, it means everything's all good and all the measurements are all good. So we're going to do the every, every other kind of thing with the ice. Uh, but this is different because they're so big. So uh, I'm going to just do this. And we're not going to even count because they are pretty lined up. Well, they are lined up. <laughs> And I'll do all these right away. I could just save it for off camera, but I think this is kind of important to see it. Oops. Go down. Hit the ice. Go back up. Oops. Go back down. It's the same thing over and over again. This is what gives a cool design to the top of the building. Kind of like an air vent. I'm not sure exactly what it is. And how many more? We got like two or three more. Two, I believe, yeah. And I'm going to do the ice right away as well. Save some time. Oops. My mistake. And get your gray concrete out. You can just do the two up here while you're up there. And down here. And go back down, and it's the final one for this. Okay. Now the rest can be filled in with ice. And I'll do a little bit here right, real quick. because I want to demonstrate the glass panes again. And I'll fill the rest though off camera. Okay. What you do, go back down here. Well, I'm going to do this. And just connect us right all the way to the top. The building looks much cooler when you have floors inside too. So I do recommend doing floors. And oops, to the top already. It was quick. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to fill these in off camera real quick, and it'll be done. Okay, everybody. That's, so that's all done and filled in. And now we're going to move on to the side right here. And let's start that right away. Let's go down here real quick. All the way down here. Okay, from this block, from this one right here, you know, at this level, I'm just making one to see what level, to this one all the way up here, and we are flying there. <laughs> right here, 60, that's 60 blocks right there, from there to down there, it's 60 blocks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to line up with this one deck over here, and we're going to go up 43 blocks, 43. So you got, uh, we're going to do actually, this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. And let's hope we got that lined up. And what I'm going to do is this block right here, I'm just going to go straight over to line it up. Make sure it's the right height. And if it's not, then I'll just add on to it. Okay, perfect. That's the right height. 
And if you already built that side, you really didn't even need to count that. I'm just doing that for everybody viewing this video. Now what you're going to do is you're going to just copy what you see over here. See the three blocks are right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over three right here. So you got one, two, three. Put that block right there. And we are going to go up 109 blocks. And it's going to be the same as this side over here. So you don't really even need to count. And I'm not going to count because that's not like a fun number to count. <laughs> And just takes a bit to get up here because you guys can imagine it's a very tall building very tall and let's just line these two up okay now what you can do is you can go over two like that and you can bring it down to the same height as the other block that we started at and you don't need to count it's 109 well, I believe actually it's 110 because it goes down one more block than the others. So it's like this. So it, this is the 43rd block right here when we were going up. So it goes down at the same level. And we're just going to fill in that open space right there that we have. And just bring it to the top. Okay, now what we're going to do next is what we just did over here. Over here, It's going to be three blocks. So you got two, in, two over here and three. But we're going to count this as one for the whole four. So you got the one, two, three, four. And it makes the three in here. Just like over here. It's making that clear, trying to make it easy enough so everybody understands. And you're just going to bring it down to the, the level that we brought the last one down to. And I might fly right by it because we're going pretty fast. Oh, yep, there we go. There, there it is. There it is. And now just fill in this area. This is the space in between the two ones that we did. And we're going to go down again. And we're almost there. Let's hope. Oh, wait, I got th four more or three more. Okay, so that's all good. And what you can do right away is you can connect these two and get your uh, polish and the side out. And you can do this part actually whenever you want, but I'm just going to do it now to get it out of the way. You just do those two blocks and, un like, you know, underneath there. So you have like a little deck area. Just like over here. It's congruent on both sides. Now this whole area can be filled in with ice, but before we do that, we are going to do what we did over there is we're gonna get a line of ice and just connect both sides now this is going to help us line up the design that I have going around the whole building just like this and this is going to be a five block you know spacing now what you can do is you can get the dark gray uh, concrete out and just put one right here there, 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 you know, every other one like we were doing. Okay, and let's get, let's put it right there too as well, and I think we can do it, yeah, let's do it right here. I don't have the pillar out, so it's just, it's easier to do this right away. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to throw this white stained glass out. We don't need that, I don't think, for a while or at all anymore. I'm not sure, I forget. I'll know if we need it, though. And we're just doing the uh, pillars like this. And there we go. We're going to get the ice. And just do it in between each one. And there, okay. So we have that in between. And we can do the same design down here as well. So we have this one already. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that the line again. Connect both sides. And do it right here as well. And you can fill this in while you're at it. And so we are at this point now. Um, and what we'll be doing is doing something different than what we did above. 
uh, we'll be doing two spaces right here of ice instead of one. And that's so the glass, like right here, the white pane glass, will line up in between each of the, the uh, whatever, the, the lines that we're doing. It lines up in between each of those and not on top of it. So what you would want to do is you get the two of ice right there, and you get your gray concrete back out, go every other one, and it's the same that we've been doing. And at this end, you have two. So I added that, but uh, there's two right here. So you got two ice, two ice, and then it's normal in between here. Hope that makes sense. I try to make everything as simple as possible, understand. If there are any questions, be sure to ask below in the comments section. I'll try to answer it, and if I can't get to it, somebody else will. Hopefully clear it up for me. And just doing the same design, though. And just the ice in between. And we're halfway there. Then after this, we just got to do the top portion of it. And that will be it for the design on this side. And I'll be filling in the glass in between off camera. But uh, the, the pane glass like should line up in between each of these. And should go to each top one like that. And if you ever like have one of these panes that go over this, it means something's wrong with your, your design or your building did something wrong. Um, it could be a big mistake or it could be like a smallest mistake. So uh, it depends how you follow the tutorial. If you to follow it right and everything. So uh, move on to the roof. And just, you know, line it up like we did before. And I don't think I lined it up right. Yeah, you don't want to line up with the, the gray part. You want to line up below like that. Oops. Okay, and fly up here real quick. We're going to line up again with this one right there, so we're going to put this block right here. And while we're up here, let's just do this right away, every other. Go back down here. And those of you who forget will count how big or how tall these are. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then you got 24 and 25. That would be the whole thing. And those two that I was talking about, because it was 23 of the pillar, but it's 25 if you include the dark concrete. And we're just connecting both, both ends. Four more to go. And two more now. Sorry, a lot of the parts of this building are very boring uh, because it just goes straight up in the sky now, and we're really getting tall with this building now. Whoops. Okay, now just go every other with the ice. Every other. We halfway there? Sweet, we're almost there. Once you're done with this part, you can actually fill in all the empty spots down below with ice, and that's what I'm going to do right now, so I'm going to cut it. Okay, everybody, that's all finished. All the ice is in, and the glass panes are on the building, and it really gives the building uh, dimension, and it just gives that modern, realistic look. Uh, I filled in all the glass panes as I said and so let's move on to the next part. This part is the easy part All you got to do is we're just copying this side and putting it over here really um, so go to this end right here and It's right next to this part right here that we didn't get to yet and just take us all the way up to the, the, the tallest point of the building that we uh, Can go But not the height limit, so just I'll show you what I mean So you just bring this all the way up I'm not sure how many blocks this exactly is from where we were, but it doesn't matter because you don't need to count. And you just gotta connect these then. 
okay and now what you're going to do is you're going to do the same design from over there to over here but before we do that I want to put the ice below so put like a a level part below makes it easy and we'll do the same thing up here as well okay now I'm gonna get the gray concrete back out and it's gonna go every other so this time you can go you know one this one block right here it's different from down there uh, from that one level you just go every other one the same as all the other designs we did quartz spring it all the way up this is considered the back of the building that we are building at right now so be sure that you're not building the building completely backwards that would not be good but if you did build the building backwards, it's all right because you could. You, all you had to do is just change the base. Then that's all you had. That's all you would have to do. Oops. And I think the best part about this side is it's the last part that we have to use these lines. The other part we'll be doing is uh, a little different, but it's still uses a certain kind of design that we've been doing in the sides but you'll see in, in the future part of this video oops did not mean to break that and one more down here I don't know why I keep doing that my mind is like set just to bring it all the way to the top <laughs> And you put the ice in between, or whatever color window you're using, as I said before. Doesn't matter. As long as it's blue. Oops. And two more to go. And my remote controller stopped for some reason. <laughs> that's why I need a new one. Okay, so that's all in there. Top part. Now we gotta go down here. And so for this side, we are going to do just one like this level. So you can do the line over. And put that there. And I'm gonna do the ice this time, real uh, quick. I'll do this first. Why not? Doesn't matter what order I do as long as I build it. Okay, get the create concrete back out. A lot of the design of this building is very repetitive. That's how it is though for like geometric kind of like square rectangular buildings. It's quite the same going up. It's little changes here and there sometimes. Okay, you can go down next next level. Now this is the part that is the two right here, but on this side it's only one, so you don't have to worry about that. And we're just putting the line below like we did for the other levels. Oops. I'm gonna drink the potion because I feel like I'm going really slow. And just because my OCD is kicking in, I gotta put this one right here because I feel like the ice should be in front of the conquer right there or the in the site. <laughs> and every other. One, two, three, concrete. So I'm do these real quick. This is the quickest way of doing it. I was trying to do it like the nice tutorial, proper tutorial way of doing it, but I'm not. I'm doing the, like the assembly line way of doing it. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Okay. So now all you gotta do is literally fill in these parts with the ice and then you do this part, the white stained glass panes. And you just go all the way to the top of the building with these. And 
and let's do all the way to the top. It takes a few years to get to the top. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'm going to fill these in right now, uh, and then we'll be working on this side. This side's a little tricky. It's different than the other sides. So uh, I saved the best for last, of course. And I'm going to freeze it right here. So that's all filled in now. Everything's all inserted in those open spots that we had. Uh, so let's move on to the main, well, the last facing big, large side of the building. So this is pretty simple, this part right here that we're about to do, but it does change as we get higher up. So get your ice back out. And also, you're going to need the clay again. And you're going to just go up by five. So you got the one right here. So two, three, four, five. Get your clay out. One, two, three, four, five. Get your clay out. One, two, three, four, five. Get your clay out again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. Okay. Now that's the only amount of windows you got to do. And so I'll give you the number of how high we just went. So I'm going to count like this. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So 36 high, and I'll count it again going down. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Perfect. So from this block right here, you know, that one right there is 36. Oops, I did not mean to break that. Okay, so pretty much all you got to do is just bring that around to the side. So what I'll do is I'll do one level first, to make, you know, to do it really nice. To get my point across. And you're going to go up five above this gray part. And uh, pretty much the this part of the building is the same as down there. The top part that we stopped at will be capped off with that design. But I'll be showing how to do that. Is this four? I think this is four, yeah. We need five. And I want to explain how the floors work real quick. Uh, not yet, though. Let me just put this clay on top. And right here. So you're going to continue that, for the other ones that we just did. Um, but let me explain how this works. So you have the window right here. Right this part right here, this serves as a ceiling right here at the level of the clay. And that's how it is throughout the whole building. And uh, this right here serves as a floor. So that would be the floor. And then right here is the ceiling. So for that floor is a ceiling above. Just to clear it up, and I'll go down here as well. So I'll show you what not to do. So you put the ceiling right there and the floor above, okay? Don't put the block below, that's wrong. That wouldn't be correct how to do the building. So each floor would be about four blocks high, and that gives you enough room. And it makes the building look, you know, pretty big when you have that many floors. Okay, so um, let's continue some of the ice. I'm just doing this to get the point across. Put that there. And you know, when I was designing this building, I got really lucky with the, you know, dimensions. Like 256 blocks I have to work with in height. And I must say the building uh, turned out nice. It's hard to make some buildings with the limits that Minecraft gives us. So um, I'm very happy how this turned out, and it looks pretty realistic. You know, it's hard to do some buildings like the Verge Khalifa and stuff. Okay. And let me just bring this one around. Pretend we did the ones below. Okay. And for those of you who don't know how long this is, I'll just tell you real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I just like giving quick measurement updates for you all to check out. Make sure it's all correct for your building as well. 
So I think what I'm doing here is quite easy to understand. I hope it is. For this part of the building, you don't go into the building right there yet with this block. You just stick with the, the five. Okay? So pretend that this is all filled in below and all this ice is in here and everything. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to cap a, put the cap design above this. It's the same as down there. So get your, um, let me find it, gray concrete back out and just set it on top of this right here. And you're just going to go around the whole thing. Get your pillar block back out. One, two, three. You're making a solid version of that. So it keeps the design going around the building, basically. And this will be three high as well. And right here as well. Okay, get that gray concrete back out. And just put it on top like this. Do not forget about your clay. I've already made the mistake where I almost forgot about this part. Okay, so I'm going to do the filling in of this stuff right here off camera, uh, and then I will be right back. So let me just put this here, and then I'm going to zoom out. Put it right here. So that's all filled in now, and now we're ready to move on to the next part of the building. Okay, get your ice back out. And what we'll be doing right here is actually we'll be making another patio. So put a layer of ice here, okay? And then put another layer, just like that, okay? And now what you can do is you can go over two. Well, you have the two right here. And go over here as well, and line the bottom. And do the same to this side. Let me drink some of the potion first because it's going a little slow. Okay, now just continue it. Okay. Now what I want you guys to do, uh, if you're following along, of course, uh, is to go in this block right here. So let me make it easy. So if you go over three from the outside, it's this block right here. And you're going to connect this part right here to this you're making just that just like that and now what you can do is get that polish and site back out and put it in those four blocks and now that I'm thinking of it you don't need this ice on this level with the andesite okay so you just gotta do that and that's the hard part about this whole level <laughs> that's it for this part so let me continue this window up and it has to be five, of course. And just bring it around, bring it around. Oops, what am I doing here? Okay, I think it's four right now. Yeah, one more layer. And then I'll show you how the design changes. So what you guys can do is get that clay back out since we're five above. Put it right here. And continue it. And now it's going to change over here. And it's going to be continue. And it's going to be this long. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six long. Now it's going to go to this uh, length because of exterior reasons why. You'll see if you do the interior of the floors uh, for exterior reasons. Uh, down there will just stay the number it's at. So just continue it. You want that to be like you want it to end right here and not right here. But this side you do want it to go align with the ice. Okay? But you do not need to continue it right here. Like don't put it right here, just put ice. And go over that block. And go around. And we're just going to keep adding till it to it, I mean, until we get to those design lines right there. And then I'll count how high this is for you guys, if you need the number. Three, four, five. So let me do that right away, so we have a number to work with if you need it. 
One, two, three, four, five. Oops, what's going on? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the level we can stop at for the windows. And I'll count that for you guys. So we ended here before we started um, doing all this. So let me count from right here. So you got one, two. Let's count above three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. So thirty-six high again. And I'm not going to even recount it because I know it's 36. I made it so the one below would equal this one. And it wouldn't look weird. It would look congruent, you know, I mean, like size-wise. So that's how I know. And you can continue to design. And honestly, it's the same thing as that level down there that we started. So I'm going to continue going up the side of the building. I won't do this part off camera. I'll do like the main filling in off camera, but let me just continue this. Oops. The play out again. And I have to explain one more thing before we continue on doing this. And let me bring this. Uh, oops. Let me bring this design around or the line. I mean. And it's going to be different, so don't go, don't go over to that limit that we did over there. So let me go straight below like this. this. Is how I can line it up since I didn't do the below part yet. But I do recommend doing it level by level. I'm only doing this for certain reasons, of course. And just do this. And I'll make sure it's lined up. Two. Three, four, five. Check again, yep. And fill the side in right here. Oops, don't put the clay there. <laughs> I almost made a mistake right there. One, two, three, four, five. Clay, one, two, three, four, five. Clay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, good, it lines up perfectly. Okay, so let me just continue doing some design on camera because I feel like it's important that I do this part. And doing this the quick way, I think. <laughs> Way there. Oh, more than halfway. Okay. And I believe this is the last level we have to do, besides the main massing area down there. And of course, these sides will connect. And you do that for the levels that we didn't do yet down here. And what the heck? I'll do the other two. What's another 10 seconds? So those will be filled in. I'll do those off camera. But uh, I was I want to make sure you guys could like do this part do it just with the ice. And it lines up with that clay. For now. It'll continue, but for this part. And pretend this is all done. Now get your uh, gray concrete back out. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to continue the design that we did down there, up here. And you're just going to lay it on top of the clay. I don't think I really need to explain it anymore. So you guys know the design three pillar. Create concrete there. And then you'll have clay on top of that. I'll put it back out here. Clay. But yeah, so this is the last part, I believe that has to do with this material, this design. Uh, there could be one more, but I will uh, do it if my design calls for it. There could be one more of these. 
as we get higher, we'll know. Get your gray back out. And the clay. That will top out this part of the video. And then you can bring the ice to that height as well. Okay, so we have that so far, and I'm going to fill this in off camera real quick, and then we'll be ready for the next part. So that's all filled in, now we're going to move on to the next part. We'll come back to the part that would be right here, but we're going to go to the roof right away, the top of the building, and I want to get this part out of the way because it is a easy, um, I guess it's a, like one of the last easy parts of the building, and uh, I just want to get it done with. So it's going to be different than the other sides that we did before, um, we're just going to put these uh, this ice below like we did so it can just sit on top of it. It's easy just to go across and we'll do the top ones right away as well. Now this side as you see the glass panes over here there will not be any on this side at all so just making that easy and clearing that up and so we're just gonna bring this to the other side as well. Actually I did not want that one there. I'll break that real quick. I just want the two, the ones that go above like that. Now let me drink some swiftness potion. Okay. And put that one right there. Okay, now what you can do is we're going to do the lines. Uh, we're going to do the one and then you know every other. We're not going to do two this time like we did down there a while ago. Um, so we're just going to do every other one like we did right here. Uh, we'll get the gray concrete out. It's going to change though, it's not going to be the same way to the end. Okay, now get the ice out. So you want to have a three space in between right here of ice. You got the one ice, three empty, one ice right here, and then you got the rest of the regular design. Um, we'll bring this one ice block all the way to the top. Right to that block, that one right there. Okay, what you can do now is you can do the design that we've been doing the whole building. and do it right across the whole way. I'll probably do the gray part last because it just takes too long going back in my toolbar and doing all that stuff. And we have a few more to go after this side. But yeah, we are getting to the end of the tutorial. We're not done yet, but we're getting to the end. And this is the topping out part right here. Then we have the one side part to do, but that won't take too long. Okay, we're almost done. Get this one over with. Uh, two more. Okay, sweet. And up. Okay, now get your gray concrete back out. And just sit it on top like we did to the other ones. And the ice goes in between each one like we've done before. How many more? Okay. I'm not sure if I was going to do, do this part off camera since we already know how to do this. But I'll do it on here, on camera. Got like four or five more to go. And just every other one. And this is the last time we had to do this, because all the other sides are done. And we're almost there, we're almost there. Last one. Sweet, okay. Now what you can do is get your ice back out. We'll keep it out, like we just had it out. Uh, and you're going to go to this point right here. And you're going to go up five. So you got one, two, three, four, five. And at the sixth block right there, you put the block. But you should have spot five spaces in between here. Bring that over. And then go up again, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the sixth, you put, lay it. Five in between here. Do that again. One, two. Well, you got one, two, three, four, five. And then you have the six. Five in there. And then the rest should be, well, this will be different. Then it'll be a six space in between. So you got one, two three, four, five, six, right here, six, and then the 
you place it right there. So this one's going to be bigger than the other ones by one block. Now what you can do is you can, let's see what material we don't need for a while or at all anymore. Um, we don't need the, well, we need all of them, but I'm going to throw the white stained pane glass away right now. But get your dark gray glass out. Just got to get it real quick. Gray stained glass, there it is. And then these open spots, you just put it in the void. But you go a block. You don't you don't place it there. You place one block back. And you do it down here as well for every opening. Oops. And then one more. Now, I don't know why they did this for, like, the d design of the building, but um, I think it's because the antenna was going to be there originally or something, and uh, they wanted more definition for this side because this side was kind of bland and boring, so they wanted to add something to the top. I don't really know the main reason why they added that, but it looks nice, especially when you have interior. It makes it darker. Okay, we're going to go to the top of the building real quick, and we'll top it out with the material. Uh, everybody's roof is going to be different if you do a top. I'm only, I'm only putting this part on it. So go to this level right here where the gray concrete's at and use the cyan terracotta or whatever gray material you would like. You can also use the regular concrete. Um, I use this because it looks like cement. And you just go across the whole entire top of the building like this. Take this all the way to the end over there. And uh, yeah, then we'll move on to the next part. So I'm going to cut it right here and we will be right back. So that's all done and filled in. Now we'll go back down here. And it's going to be a little bit different now going up the building. So what I want you to do is get your uh, ice back out and go over it like this. And we're starting back on top of this part right here. And then just go around the top of this. Now this side you can go up five blocks right away. The other side will be different though. So you have five blocks there, get your clay out, on top. Now we're going to go back over here. And then it'll be the same. Keep going on top of here. Three. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to drink potion real quick so I can go a little bit quicker. Now what we are going to do, we're going to go back over here. But instead of going following like this part right here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go over. So we have four blocks right here, and this one right here makes it five. But I'm going to go like this, and then I'm going to connect to this end block. And it's going to look like that. Now, I did this because of the design of the building has a little, uh, li little ledge patio uh, place right here. But I couldn't fit it on right, and it didn't look good if I did, did it any other way. Okay, so you have two there. Get your clay back out and go over the top. And make sure you do not go around here to put the ice like that. Okay, and you can put that right there because we're going to continue it up. So it should look like this so far. Next move that we're going to do is we're going to go to this point right here. You see where I'm at? Go over like this. Got two blocks right here. And you're gonna go going to go over six. So you got two, three, four, five, six. Then you go one more for seven. And then you're gonna go like this. You got three in here, and then you got six out here. And just bring it over here and go on top of the clay. And since we have this going on right now, we can go up five. Three four, five. So two, three, four, five. And then just go over here. So let me tell you how long this is. This is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is twelve long. Just for those of you who want to check the numbers. And we're just bringing it across. The three in here. 
and we're just filling it up. And make sure you check every time, make sure all the numbers are correct. And what you can do is you get that clay back out. And you go on top of this right here. And we're just laying it on top of it. Oops, don't put it right there. <laughs> My mistake. Okay, and we're going to keep going up. And before we do that right here, since we have a ledge, we're going to use the ice again. And it's going to be two. And then this stuff right here, this ice right here, you can break this now. We don't need this. Get your patio material back out, and you can go on this level with the andesite, polished andesite. And you put it there like that. Simple enough. Now we're going to continue going up the building. So let's get the ice back out. So one, two, three, four, five, clay. One, two, three, four, five, clay. One, two, three, four, five, clay. Okay, and then one more level. One, two, three, four, five, clay. And let me count that for you so everybody knows the number. So we'll say from this block right here, we're going to count. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So that's 30 high, and uh, for those of you who always wonder why I, you know, put blocks there, it's just the best way for me to count. Okay. And then we're pretty much going to continue this design up the building. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay down the ice, and I'll do this. Two, three, oops. I think that's five now. Oops, missed that block. Awesome. Okay, so keep doing it right here as well. And we're just continuing the same as below. And we're getting towards the top. And we'll be done soon, so I'm so happy we're getting to this point. And just got to keep filling it in. Now there will be one more patio on top of here. And that is a nice area to look over, over like over your city. It's really high up. So if you jump off there on survival, you're not going to make it down to the bottom alive. That's for sure. This is a really tall building. And this is one of those ones I might actually make in my city. In some version or another. Because I love how it turned out. And it's just beautiful. All Minecraft, anyways. <laughs> and just continue this. You can now honestly, like, just do the rest of that to the top. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to do it floor by floor. Now, I could do this off camera, but we're getting to the end, so why not? And just continue it along here. Now, those of you who want a lobby, for me to do like a lobby interior for this, I don't yet have any pictures of the lobby, how it looks. They didn't release anything that I could find. There was like one picture, but it wasn't even that great. Couldn't really see much. So maybe in the future I may make a lobby tutorial, but don't hold your breath and wait for that because I don't know if I'll ever get to that. But the floors are pretty basic design. The building is mainly residential, I think. Uh, so the pictures of the interior will be coming out soon. There are no finished interiors at the moment of me making this video right now that they've made for the building. You know, another building that's really close to this that's really beautiful as well is 520 Park Avenue. It's a nice building. It's another one, too, called, I think it's like 220 or something like that. It's another uh, gorgeous building. The architect, uh, Robert... A.M. Stern, I think it's A.M. Stern, but Robert Stern, he made a building right across from the Central Park Tower. It was really tall, and then this one shot up, and uh, it kind of made that one look small. 
Because this is like one of the taller skyscrapers in New York City. It's taller than the Empire State Building. And get the clay back out. And we're just continuing our design all the way up. And if you wish to put the antenna on this building, I will show you where you can put it. I'm not going to do the video on how you can do it. Um, or I'm not going to show how to do it. But it's pretty simple if you want to do it. They decided to not go with the antenna. They wanted more floor space, which is understandable because a floor in New York City costs a lot of money and you can make a lot of money. And don't put that right there because that's my mistake. But uh, a floor in New York City can cost a lot of money. So either you have an antenna or, you know, you're making more money off a room. You know, what's what's the best choice? But I believe the antenna would look nice, or the spire. It would have added something really nice to the building. That's why I originally like it, and then when they took it off, I wasn't a big fan. But I did leave room for one on here. And just complete this last part, and then we're golden. Oops. And one more layer. Awesome. And now get the clay back up here. Go around the edge. It would be nice to have an office up here, wouldn't it? <laughs> be a little scared. Or a you know a room up here, sleeping up here. That'd be terrifying. Now what you're gonna do, since we have that all done, is you're going to go straight across right here with the ice, connecting both sides just like that and you can keep filling it in and I would use a potion but we're getting to the end so why would I and then we have one more one more line of ice to do and then I believe the ice is finished and that may have been the last row that we had to place oh wait there's one more row we didn't place that's right get your ice back out now go on top of this clay right here and go around the edge. And there we go. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to get that polished andesite back out. And now you put it put it right here, I mean. And just fill in the space that's open up here. Before I close this off, let's just go down underneath here real quick. And you actually don't need this layer of ice where the andesite's at, so just break that. Okay, so we have that done now. Get your polish in the site and put the two blocks right there. Okay, now we don't need that anymore. We're going to get the light blue glass fence out. And go around the edge. Now you can't really see it, but it's there. And just around here. Okay. I believe that is everything. And let me just do a fly around, make sure everything's all good. If you want to put the antenna, um, they got rid of it for some reason. Uh, you know, for floor reasons, to make money. But uh, if you want to have the antenna, it goes in this corner, I believe. And I'm not going to show how to do it, but that's just a demonstration of where it would be. And how high you can go up with it. I gave enough room to make it look pretty good, but if you're going to make it, make sure it's not really like thick. And let me just break that real quick. And yeah, I believe it's everything. Um, up here, everything looks correct. Let me go back down to the bottom portion. Okay, everything looks good down here. And yes, I do suggest, though, as I said before, do interior. It really makes the building come to life and look more realistic. But yeah, besides that, thank you everybody for watching this video. Hope everybody likes how it turned out. And sorry for making it so long, but it's such a big building that it had to take up this much time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow my Twitter. Also, check out my club page on Xbox if you're an Xbox user. It's JuicyTaz201 fan page. And check out all the other links below. I'll see everybody in the next video. Until then, see you guys. Bye.